Hi everyone, it's Jillian here. I'm going to go to bed here soon, but I kind of just wanted to come out here and be a little proactive. I noticed in a lot of the ESL online forums, like on Facebook and stuff, people are sharing this link and they're really freaking out about it because um, it's a link that's posted by the Chinese government onto the Chinese Ministry of Education's webpage. And um, you run it through a translator app and it doesn't translate 100%. So people are seeing this and they're like, oh my God, oh my God, I now have to have a degree. And oh my God, I can't teach kids that are little. And oh my God, like we're going to lose everything and my job's at jeopardy. So I, I kind of just wanted to come out here and explain some of the things that are misconceptions about what this says and what it actually means as far as your online teaching job. So they're basically just doing an investigation. Um, they're looking into the way that online schools are run. And it doesn't mean anything for you. The, the staff, the administration at the ESL companies, from what I'm understanding here, the, ES, the administration companies, they have to submit their curriculum and it has to apply, it has to adhere to the guidelines that the country has set forth. And um, kids under second grade cannot be assigned homework anymore. And you have to have um, your credentials as a teacher, which in this case means you have to have your TESOL, your TEFL, your CELTA, whatever it is that you have. You have to have one of those certifications because that's the requirements by the state, the state being China. Um, that's really all it is, and it's really nothing to freak out over. Um, the administration end of it, they're going to have to make some changes with how they save videos, with how they report. They might have to make some changes. But as far as it goes right now, your ESL company, <clears throat> they're in charge of that and they're already taking care of everything. Uh, the one big change is that your certifications and your, cre your credentials have to be posted for um, the parents to be able to look at. And that's already being done. If you have a degree, your degree's posted. If you have your TESOL or your TEFL that's posted, that's all available for the parents to view. So there's really no worry there. You don't have to get a degree. Um, you don't have to worry about not teaching little kids that completely mistranslated and little kids can still take, you know, like pre-K um, and kindergarten level can still take classes. It's just that they can't be assigned homework. Uh, that's really that's really all that it is. It's it's nothing that your ESL company isn't already doing. So I just figured that I would come on here and let some people know that you know you can calm down. Your job's okay, and everything is going to be okay. And just keep teaching and being a wonderful teacher because seriously, everything's okay. And that's all I had to say for today. I am going to bed now because I have classes at 5 a.m., but I wanted to be a little bit proactive and get onto this before the really big freakouts started to hit everyone. <laughs> You're going to be okay. There's nothing, there's nothing big that's changing as far as you're concerned. Your company will take care of everything, okay? They want their company to be successful. They care about their company just as much, if not more, as you care about your jobs. So... I'm sure that they are going to adhere to all of the guidelines for the curriculum that China sets forth. And that's all I had to say for today. I'm sorry about my attire. I'm in bedtime clothes. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.